Hey guys, my name is Lindsay Bushman and I am a Pilates instructor in Los Angeles. Thanks to Booty Bag for sending me a cute top. We're gonna get right into the abs. It'll be quick. You can do it in the morning. That's why I'm wearing PJ bottoms. <laughs> Maybe it's more enticing to work your core if uh, you're comfortable, right? So we're gonna lay it down and we're gonna just start to learn two really basic things. So the first thing is a curl, a crunch. So I want you to take your hands behind your head and then press your low back into the floor. So there's no space between your low back and the mat and your abs are super tight. Just like you would kind of tighten your core if you're kind of showing off your stomach in a bathing suit, that's what you're thinking of here. Keep the chin off of the chest and then exhale, lift your chest up but not necessarily your head. And then inhale, lower back down. So as you're lifting your chest up, yeah, your head is lifting as well, but it's not coming forward and crunching into your body. So let's find an exhale as we lift up, trying to get the shoulder tips off the mat, and then inhale, bring it nice and slow back down. It should take you about four counts to curl up, and four counts to slowly lower back down. Let's hit five more of these. So I'm going to exhale, lift, sink the belly, and inhale, lower. And neck nice and relaxed in those hands. And last three, breathe out and curl. Breathe in and lower. If you're taking it slow, you might be surprised that you're feeling it even more. That's because the muscles are under tension for a longer period of time. Last one right here, we're gonna curl it up. Bring your waist towards your hips and lower it down. So now I'll keep the head down, we're gonna focus on the low abs. So back is planted down, gluing it to the mat. Legs to tabletop. Let's glue those guys together as well. Flex your feet. You'll dip your feet down towards the floor, but you'll stop the minute your low back wants to pop off. So we keep the core really tight. Maybe it's only halfway down. Maybe you feel stronger and you can tap. And then exhale, lift. So we're going to use our inhale to bring the heels down. And our exhale to bring the heels up. The modification is just a smaller range of motion. So maybe your core isn't that strong, that's fine. That's why we're working on it right now. Maybe you just go about two, three inches and you really feel like you have to stamp the abs down and that's your challenge zone, so you'll stay right there. Good, maybe you have been practicing this and see if you can challenge yourself more by taking a little bit lower. Good, so we're gonna inhale to go down, pull the navel in and up, and exhale, breathe out, and lift. Very nice. So let's go four more of these. And notice my pace as well is very slow. That's because I'm trying to keep momentum out of the movement. Momentum would look something like this, with your butt kind of rocking up and down. So we don't really want that to happen here. Good, nice and slow. Last two. I'm already shaking from this. These were just the warm-ups. <laughs> Last one. Pull that rib cage together. Stamp those back ribs down. And then exhale, lift up. So I'm going to do something really classical called the series of five. So you can always keep your head down to modify. Bring your right knee to your chest. Left leg extends long. If you're comfortable, you're going to curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Shoulders pull off the neck. We're going to inhale here once. Switch the legs. Exhale. <sighs> inhale for one and exhale for the next. Good. If you're somewhere in between, you can rest your head in the middle. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, let's take that straight leg and send it a little lower towards the floor. Now I want you to stay in that imprinted spine position. So there isn't any space between my low back and the mat, and I'm heavily pushing my rib cage into the floor. Inhale one, exhale two. Good, now flex your feet, and we're gonna continue here for 10. Nine, eight, you got it. Seven, six, five, four, almost there. Three, two, one. Okay, head down, legs together now. Double leg stretch, you're gonna curl up and wrap your arms around your shins. Option to keep that head down. Inhale, we're going to extend the arms overhead, shoot the legs down to your lowest point. 
Circle the arms around, curl up into a ball. Inhale, lengthen and stretch, but pull the belly into the body. Circle the arms around and curl up. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, hug it in. Now flex your feet for three. We inhale, stretch. Exhale, curl into the ball. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Final one. And return, head down. Okay, scissors, right leg to the sky, point your toe, left leg out to 45 degrees. We're gonna hug the back of that right leg. We're going for extension, so also working flexibility here. Curl it up, you're gonna pull the right leg to you twice. Pull, pull, switch the legs, pull the left leg to you twice, pull, pull. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, chest, over waist, chin out of the heart, right? Find that length. Let's pick it up. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Four, three, two, one. Flex your feet, we continue for 10, nine. Heels up, toes down, eight, seven. Good work, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Woo, that will get you warm. Okay, last two, double leg stretch. Legs up to the sky, let's go Pilates, knee heels together, toes and knees apart. Point your toes, option to bend the knees to modify. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head for this one. We're gonna exhale, curl the chest up. Inhale, lower the legs down. Exhale, lift the legs from your low belly, and then rest your head. Four parts. One, we curl up. Two, lower the legs. Lift the legs from your abs, and then rest your head. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, down two more. Curl. Lower. Lift. And down, last one, we curl, chest over waist, lower, lift, down, now flex your feet, we're going to go again, curl it up, lower, lift, and lower. And so focus on your abs being what do the work, yeah? Your head, your neck, your shoulders, they like to get involved. So you kind of have to constantly connect with your body and think about what is doing the movement. Good, if we're distracted and texting or watching TV while we're working out, sometimes we can injure ourselves because we're not really focused on using the right muscles. Last one, curl up, lower the legs, lift the legs, and rest. Okay, crisscross is our final one in the series of five, also known as bicycle. Yep. Okay, nice and classic. Right knee tabletop, left leg long. We're gonna curl up and twist. Then you're gonna switch your legs and turn to the left. Elbows wide, press the left elbow back in space. Go slow. Twist right. Lift the right shoulder blade off the mat as well. Twist left. Left shoulder blade not down, lift it up, you got it. We're going six more, super slow. Rotate through the belly. Rotate through the belly, four more. Inhale through the center, exhale to the twist. We've got three. Hold on to it. Two, one, and done. Whoa, abs are screaming. Okay, we're going to finish off this killer core workout with a plank. So, mountain climbers, but really slow so that we can focus on the abs working rather than doing something like cardio. So, we're going to find a plank on your hands. You can always modify by bringing your hands up to something higher, like on a chair or possibly a wall. Hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to do three mountain climbers. So, you're going to start with your right knee. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, step it out. Exhale, left knee in, inhale, step it out, and then you'll pull the right knee in and hold. Lift the abs, contract the core, and step it back. 
So left and back, right and back. Now the left knee is the one that pulls in. Hold, abs in and up, push the ground away from you and step it back. So we go one, two, three. Pull the mid back to the ceiling and step it back. Exhale, exhale, deep exhale. Navel up to the ceiling and back. Okay, we're gonna go 30 seconds. Let it all burn. It's quick, but it's killer. You've got 20. Stick with me, stay strong, and focus on your breath. We go one, two, three, hold. Final set. Left, right, left. Squeeze in and up, push out of the ground. And <laughs> release. Woo! Okay, let's stretch those abs out nice and quickly come down to your belly. If you're really tight in your low back or in your chest, I want you to come on your forearms, elbows right underneath the shoulders, and you're gonna pull your chest through from there. If you feel more flexible, you're gonna go hands underneath the shoulders, elbows to the body, and you're gonna lift up from there. Be careful not to come here, yeah? So try to soften, pull the heart through the arms. Take a deep breath in, smile for me. Not easy, but you did it. Be proud of yourself, release it down, just press back through a child's pose, hips to heels, arms lengthen overhead. Let's take three deep breaths together. Inhale, fill up through the rib cage and the low back. Exhale, soften through the shoulders. Inhale, fill up. And breathe it out. Last one. Inhale, expand through the waist, and then exhale, release and soften. Then walk your hands in, curl it up. Thank you guys so much for working out with me. That was just a little taste of some Pilates. My name is Lindsay Bushman. My company is Pilates On Demand. You can follow me at Lindsay Rosebush on Instagram, and I hope to see you guys later. Good work.